scared okay but so if I can do it you can do it and once again first you breathe then I breathe there's plenty of air here for both of us okay okay now try this now put this in your mouth bite down now take a normal breath that's it exhale <laughs> there's nothing to it you know we're gonna have to stop meeting like this. 
Right on cue. My partner, the world's biggest guppy. Oh, my leg is really starting to hurt. Okay. Now, outside, there's kelp. Like big seaweed. Mm -hmm. But don't let it bother you. Just swim right through, nice and easy. Just push it out of the way. Okay? Got that? Okay. We'll be out of here in a minute. <laughs> this is gonna be a great story to tell your friends. All right, here. Wait. Hey, hey, hey. I only share my regulator with pretty girls. And that way I get to hold their hand. Leg fracture. Possibly the hip might go into shock. Come on, let's go down there and see this. Come on, let's go. Another lady oh, president, another elder. Oh, remember Rosa that wonderful show we had? When what? Yes, there's Ronald, Ronald, Ronald Cole. Oh. Hey, I'm Deputy Thibodeau. Your police, sheriffs, search and rescue. We're just a couple of wild and crazy guys. It's our resident comedian, Deputy T. R. Applegate. Hi, call me Trap. <laughs> Better Ladies, than the, the plane, you've seen it flying low before over the water. And strange oh, boats Mayor at all and hours, late at night, and people right on the beach red flashing red lights, oh, you know, that was the best that like movie. Morse code. Oh, and the we called the president, oh, lights, oh yeah, the White wrong. House. They go, woo, and they put me on hold. I tell you, she's a danger to us. Who? That little girl? No, no, that big girl. Crawl feet up at least she dropped us off. Oh, come on, Trap. Look, give her a break. It's only your second day. I mean, Hal, he used to drop us 15, what, 20 feet? You ever complain about him? You're right. She's no Hal. Hey, she's a pro. She's going to be terrific. You know, you're absolutely right. She is terrific. The best pilot I've ever seen. As a matter of fact, I'm going to recommend her for Air Bureau instructor. But then she'd be transferred out of the detail. Right. Oh. Uh. <gasps> Things haven't been safe around oh, here ever since President weird Truman left going office. On out there. Okay, okay, ladies. Now look, if you have any more trouble. You just call the office and ask for Deputy Trap. Trap? Yes, that's right. You see over there, tall, dark? Anything weird, day or night, you just call and ask for Deputy Trap. He's our specialist when it comes to anything weird.
Well, what do you think? It's okay. They don't know anything. I was so scared, I still don't know how you got me to do that. Just good old boyish charm, I guess. Are you a professional diver? Well, uh, sheriff's department. Then you're a cop? Well, uh, I'm really a songwriter. Oh, any I know? Just one so far, but uh, I'm working on some others. I'll see you at the hospital, OK? I don't know how to thank you. You just did. Well, hello, ladies. I'm Deputy, Deputy Trap. Trap. Graceful beauty of the golden eagle in flight. Your eyes 
Uh, like limpid pools, reflecting the color of the ocean at sunset. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Whoa, big fella. <laughs> Come on and ask him. OK. Uh, you're a sheriff, aren't you? Yes. So you know everything there is to know about self-defense, right? Like how a girl should protect herself against attack? Yeah, yeah, we know how to do that, sure. Oh, well, we're supposed to have this class tonight up at Pepperdine to learn how to uh, defend ourselves. But we lost our instructor, so we have a whole class just waiting to be taught. Oh. And nobody to show us what to do. Hey, Trout. Aren't you supposed to take the wife and the kids shopping tonight? I don't have a wife. <laughs> yeah, partner, but the kids, the kids. <sighs> Look, would you give me a break? The party, remember, and we don't have dates. Excuse me. Tonight, 8 o'clock, Pepperdine, Einhorn Hall. Please. Uh, sure, we'll be there. Oh, good. Oh, Both of you? Sure. Both of you? Terrific. Oh, thank you. And you will discover what to do when you are attacked. Thank <laughs> you. <Cute. laughs> it'll be a massacre. Thanks, OK? See you later. <laughs> Bye. 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 Just take it easy. Why you take just it a... easy? Oh, please, please let us go play. Jimmy, I told you no ten times. Now just stay here. But, Mom... No buts. I said no. Never let me do anything. Come on, Helen. You can hear us from here. Come on, Mom. I'm not a baby. All right, look, you go play till we're finished with this. But stay close, all right? Okay, come on, sometimes. <laughs> He's never going to understand what freedom means until he has a chance to sample it. Don't worry, the dog will be with him. Here, boy. Here, boy. Come here. Come here. Uh. What is it, sometimes? What is it? Come here. Hi, Thim. Hey, Morgan. I don't think I've met all the guys yet. Yeah, you haven't. Let's see. Uh, these three were off yesterday. Morgan Wainwright. This is Big Bird. How do you do? Morgan. <laughs> this is phone number. Hi, phone number. Hi. And CB. CB. Hi, Hi Morgan. Well, you guys got some pretty fancy nicknames. I don't dare ask why. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, you've seen the TV show, Big Bird. <laughs> not bad, not bad. <laughs> and the phone number there, he's got this fetish. Rule number one, always get that area code. Mm-hmm. And, of course, we have the famous Deputy Trap. T.R. Applegate. Theodore Roosevelt Applegate the third. third. I remember when they used to call you Teddy. Oh, Teddy! Oh, Teddy. Oh, Teddy. Oh, Teddy. <laughs> 240 Robert 5, a 902 R ray a hang glider in the power lines. PCH at Decker. 911 B with County Fire at location. Edison Like Rowan. I said, start a rebel with a capital T. You know, uh, the guys just call me Trap. Oh, as in Trap, a teddy bear? Hey, uh, partner, what's with her? What do you mean? <laughs> come on. I mean, uh, how come she knows about the third? Uh, she guessed. She guessed. Mm -hmm. But Teddy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, would you tell Coleman my compass isn't working? I'm headed for Arab Bureau to get it fixed. You know, maybe I was wrong. She should come to the stack. You think so? Mm -hmm. She's cute, isn't she? <laughs> She's fun. She's lots of fun. Be the life of the party. She could... She could jump out of the cake. <laughs>
number two, line three. A lady for you, Deputy Trap. Lady? Applegate. But they're here, out on the beach, a whole mob I think of them. They're spies, yeah, Tally, Maybe a submarine, this too. Isn't the first time, Tally. Uh, well, the little girl told us to call you. A uh, little girl? Yeah, you know that little girl that flies that squirrely beater? Shh, sissy, they may have bugs on the phone. Oh, that little girl. Two forty Robert Air, code one. Two forty Robert Air, bye. Possible lost boy, Ensignal Canyon. See the woman, Ensignal at Hankin. Ten four, two forty Robert Air. So I'll come on, come on as soon as I can. Yes. Uh, let's roll, partner. Morgan's got a missing child, Ensignal Canyon. All right, it'll be a little while, but we'll be there. He's only seven. Oh, no, no, but you don't understand. He can't see. He's blind. <laughs> Our big break. Now, if we find that kid and we get some decent film. And get it on the news. Oh, from the TV station, we'll finally see what a great cameraman you are. Hey, you're prejudiced. You bet. You deserve a break. Oh, yeah. Well, that kid needs a break even more than we do. Come on. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Okay, all right, in the back. I'll try and spot him. Okay, just hold on tight.
Okay, I see you coming up the left fork of Malibu Creek. You might just check those trees to the north. I can't get in there. North? She must mean over there. That's west. Real pro, huh? the parents. Yeah. Look for the dog. Okay, take it easy, take it easy. Hey, Jim. My name's Thibodeau. I'm a deputy sheriff. My mom says not to talk to strangers. Trapped there with your dog. And we're gonna have to work something out here, you know? You know, you can't see him, Jim, so I'm gonna tell you about him. He's very tall, a little bit older than I am, and real funny looking. <laughs> Tells uh, rotten jokes. Does awful imitations. And thinks that all the girls are just crazy about him. But he's my friend, and I trust him with my life. In fact, I have. Hi, Jim. What's your dog's name? Sometimes. That's a funny name. Because he does what you tell him to. Sometimes. Yeah, my partner's like that. Old Thibodeau. Hard to keep him in line. But he can make you better. Sorry, Jim. I'm just trying to see how badly you're hurt. Thibodeau's so chicken, he cries when he gets his fingernails cut. Once a mosquito bit him, and we had to rush him to the hospital. You're funny. Snake bit you, Jim. How long ago? A little while. I'm seeing funny things in my head, colors and stuff. Yeah, well, that's the poison from the snake bite. I'm gonna have to make a little cut to try to get it out. Will it hurt? Ah, a little bit. Not as much as it did when you were bitten. Just hang on to my hand, Jim. If it hurts, squeeze really hard, OK? Hey, did you ever hear the song, Saddle My Dreams? The one on the radio? Yeah. My partner here wrote it, the one and only Dwayne L. Thibodeau. Do me a favor, Jim. Don't ask him to sing it. Oh! Now squeeze my hand. a boy. a boy. You've got a brave kid here. I'm not chicken like Thibodeau, am I? No, no way. Atta boy.
brakes are gone. My brakes are gone. Donna! Donna, watch out! That's a 10-4. We have to head by the beach anyway to die for those flight instruments. Okay, I'll swing by and pick up the paperwork on Jimmy. You know, even you have to admit that you blew it. Trees to the north. Crap, her compass was B.O. She told us, remember? Then she shouldn't be flying. She had to fly to get it fixed, Trap. You know, you make an awful lot of excuses for that girl. Uh, 240 Robert Ford to 240 Robert Lincoln. Coleman by. We have a 415. It's a family, quite a quarrel. I'll be out of service for about 30. Yep, some weekend. Yeah. Hey, speaking about that girl, uh, what are the Cirques on it? Cirques on what? <laughs> Teddy? As in bear Teddy? Oh, wait a minute. For the record, for the record, just for the record, it was Teddy Bear. Over? Well, she was in my class at the academy. We, we had a couple of dates. Yeah, and then what? Nothing, not a thing. Zip, zero, no chemistry, <laughs> over and out, goodbye, good night, nothing. Nothing? Nothing. <laughs> Come on, trap something. Look, a guy dates a chick a couple of dates, and you got to make World War Three. It was oh. very casual. We'll see. She calls him Teddy, her teddy bear. He says to me, there's nothing there. But I know better. Trap couldn't get her to make some whoopee. This man expects to write another hit song. <laughs> cute, cute, very cute. I tell you, it has nothing to do with a couple of dates 10 years ago. It's just that women don't belong in this kind of work. Any woman. Stacy, come on up. They're here. Who? There's two of them. They're in a cute little truck. They're sheriff's fellas. Oh. Tony, it has nothing to do with Ms. Wainwright. Look, Trap, this is Thib, okay? Let's face it. You joined the Sheriff's Department because it was the macho thing to do. Oh, uh, come on. No, you come on. 
Look, they start letting women ride patrol. I mean, you can't hack that. A woman doing a man's job? So you take off for the rescue unit, the last macho refuge. Listen, partner, it's not as simple hey, as that. Hey, But now they're here, and there's nowhere you can flee. I'm telling you, she's a danger to our whole unit. Trap! You are trapped. Goodness, it's Deputy Trap. Yes, ma'am, and this is my partner, Deputy Thibodeau. Yeah. You think we can trust him? Ooh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I've sworn him to secrecy. Oh. <laughs> it's too risky. What are you crazy? There's a half a million dollars out there. You gonna let it rot? Let's get it. It's okay. It's kind of a scary thing when you don't feel safe in your own house. Oh, wait here, wait here. You stay back. You stay back. We'll handle this. I'm working. Hey, going to retrieve the flight instruments from the plane, so they'll check out the beach. I won't sleep right. No, we feel so defenseless. Defenseless? Defenseless, huh? You, uh, trust them with your uniform? Of course, I can't wear it like it is. <laughs> Why, are you uh, planning on wearing it tonight? <laughs> ah, tonight. Oh, look, last is young Buck is waiting for me to show them my moves. Crap, you are an inspiration. Right, okay. right. Uh, you're selfless. Yes. Dedicated. Ah, yes, for the good of the core. Good of the core.
That plane that went down was supposed to make a drop, got in trouble and crashed. This guy and his partner have a contact in Mexico, sends a package every week. They drop it in the water and these guys fish it out. He's as regular as the post office. Only more reliable. What about the mules that brought it, father and daughter? Hi. You look nice in a uniform. Thanks. <laughs> Write any new songs lately? Nikki, uh, I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but this time I'm here officially. Officially what? You know, I don't understand you. The first, you're a diver. And then somebody tells me that you're a, you're a mountain climber. But your badge says paramedic. And you look like a cop. Well, we're with the L.A. County Sheriff's Department. But, uh, I'm here as a police officer. Boy, sure sounds like you have a fun job. <laughs> Do you all write songs? <laughs> Just me. Nikki, uh, we went back to the plane to recover the flight instruments. I mean, it's something we do after every accident. We took two men into custody. We also had to place your father under arrest. Did you know anything about a package that he was supposed to drop into that cove that you crashed into? It was something wrapped up. Cocaine. My father wouldn't do that! Nikki! He spoke! Why didn't you pretend to be so nice? Nikki, I'm sorry, but... Go away! Getting a date? Uh, we're working on it. Working on it. Crap! Any loose foxes running around? Don't forget to get, get their, their phone, phone numbers. You're just, you're gonna have to cut out all this wild carrying on. I mean, I just can't take the frivolity. <laughs> Earth to Thibodeau. Day's been a downer trap. That girl, Nikki, she thinks I betrayed her. Yeah. You know, I've been thinking. Maybe it's not too late for me to try to get back into med school. You know, the paramed training should help, and if we get the chance... Wait a minute, wait a minute. What do you mean? You're gonna, you're gonna give up all the fun that we have? Come on. Oh. Like I said, Fred, I mean, not much fun today. A real downer. Bib, don't get down on yourself. You're the best at what you do. You know more emergency medicine than most doctors. And you care about people. Just think, just... Just think of the lives you've saved. You, which rhymes with Thibodeau. 
you know, for a macho bigot. <laughs> Good. You're feeling better, right? Yeah. Good. Hi, my Sherry. We were unable to keep ourselves away from you. Oh. Everybody's dying to meet you. Great, great. Well, we're okay. ready. We're ready. Uh, it's our civic duty. Uh, what are you going to do? Kiss it, okay? I hope you guys to join us tonight, especially since after a long, hard day. Just trying to do my job, Pilgrim. <laughs> the class got so big, we had to split it up into two groups. Yours is this way. Guys, this is Deputy Thibodeau. Hi. Hi. Wonderful. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you see the trout? <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah. we're over here, okay? <clears throat> what are you doing here, Morgan? What, me miss a chance to have a brush-up course from the foremost expert in the department? Hey, a girl doesn't get an opportunity like this every day. Uh, shall we? Sure, let's, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ladies, the man you've all been waiting for. Jackie Trap! <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh... Ben! I don't know if you can hear me! But don't give up! I have an idea! As soon as it's daylight! But please don't give up on me! Move it. Did I keep you waiting, instructor? Well, I wouldn't want to rush you. Oh, good. Oh, uh, by the way, you may have to wait because there's no more hot water. <sighs> it's me or her. Robert Ayer, I'm on patrol.
This is 240 Robert Air. I have a car over. Cold Canyon at Natalport. Two victims visible, one a cliffhanger. Possible injuries. Request 902R. Advise Malibu emergency. First victim, female, located about 50 feet below the roadway. on the bottom, can't move, hadn't spoken since last night. There's no one else. Why don't you give her a quick check on the way down to the boyfriend? Let's see what we've got here. But I tell you, this wind is going to be a problem. Assistance? She's gonna be okay. You're gonna have to winch her up. I'm gonna go on down. Uh, 10 4, we'll winch her up and stand by to assist you below. Trap, he's in bad shape. We gotta get him out quick. Down cable! Down cable. Lots of contusions, bruises, dehydrated. Might be on the verge of checking out. Want to start an IV? Yeah. Black pitted ringers, a V5W. Right. 240 air? Nearby. We're gonna need a litter and a backboard. The 
winds are wild. You think you can bring it in? I'll try. Where do you want me to put it? Rove, I'll be back in five. I'm gonna help Morgan drop a litter. Why don't you put the ivy under her shoulder, get some pressure, and keep it flowing. Come in, Morgan. The winds are wicked and getting worse. It's only a problem getting down. Going up will be a snap. There are phone wires. I've got them spotted. It looks too dangerous. Pull up. Too dangerous for me or any pilot? Any pilot, Morgan. I'll get down to 40 feet, but we'll not be able to hold the hover long. He's up up there. I'm riding with him. What happens if he has a seizure up in the air and starts thrashing around? Well, that's where I'm going. He'll pull out his airway and might choke to death. Right. Throw you to the ground 100 feet down. I tell you, the wind is a bear. Look, coming in's a trick. Going up's a piece of cake, like she said. Morgan, Thibodeau's gonna have to ride with him. Together, that'll be about 350 pounds.
Malibu emergency. I have two victims, one with possible head and back injuries, dehydration, multiple fractures. My patient is an epileptic. You have to admit it, Morgan. We've got an IV on board. You're one hell of a lady. Sorry, babe. Guess I blew the big break. Oh, it's okay. You didn't get to film the 6 o'clock news. You are the 6 o'clock news. You're gonna be a movie star. Yeah, that's a piece of film I'll watch the rest of my life. <laughs> Guess what? What? I'm out of here in 10 days. Great, great. I'm so sorry. You saved my life, and, and you told me the truth, and I was rude. Hey, forget it. I have. <laughs> hey, Teddy Roosevelt, Lieutenant wants you to spot that wrecked car in Mulholland Creek for me. Right. You know, I really would like to hear about those two dates sometime. Oh, you would, eh? Uh -huh. Well, I'll tell you what. Someday, I will write you a song about it. <laughs> well, something tells me there's a little bit more to it than that, you know? You know, she is pretty gutsy. For a girl, she's gutsy. Trap, why don't you go tell her? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Look at those people down there. <laughs> they look like little ants. My goodness, I never noticed that before. Is that right? Uh, you know, Morgan, uh, you did a terrific job today. Yeah, you think so? Uh, yeah, I have to admit it. <laughs> Not just terrific for a woman? No, 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 for anybody. Don't tell me you're trying to apologize. <laughs> apologize? <laughs> me? <laughs> well, that sort of sounded like uh, Well, uh, uh, since it is just you and me up here alone, uh, but uh, you understand, Morgan, that uh, I wouldn't say this in front of anybody. As a matter of fact, if you ever said anything about it, uh, well, I just deny it. Uh, that I apologize to you for putting you down. You're a fantastic pilot, Morgan. Better than how? Better than anybody. Trap, you know, that's really decent of you. I, I accept your apology. That is, if you're really sure you mean it. Oh, I mean it, Morgan. I mean it. But of course, it's just between you and me. As a matter of fact, you must promise me that no one will ever hear a single solitary word there. If you say so, Trap. Ah, truce. Truce. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, ah, yes, my dear girl. I do believe we're going to work very well together. Very well.